All right, so. It's much less known than its three times longer and wider cousin. And you don't play platform tennis with platform shoes. What you do is run around a smaller court in sneakers. The, the heaters, the propane heaters will melt the snow. Make precision shots, and you get to use these screen walls made of tightly wound chicken wire. Tennis is a game of, of speed and power and winners. This is a game of patience and not making errors. They call it paddle for short, with its roots in the New York City suburb of Scarsdale in 1928, now closing in on a century later, filled with camaraderie and gaining in popularity. It's definitely growing. Our Boston League, our men's league was about 500 people eight years ago. It's 1,200 today. So the ball's not too heavy. It's kind of spongy. You can kind of grip it. As far as the paddle, round has its own grip. And at my feet, this helps keep the ball on the court. Wow. Woo! Deep. And therein lies the challenge when taking on the pros. Carrie and Lauren are two of the stalwarts of the sport, and I may not have been properly dressed, but gave it a shot, or two, or three. Shoulder high, let it fly. Ugh. You need to know the angles. I mean, it's a, it's a thinking men's game. It's just a, a lifelong sport. It's awesome. Scoring is the same as big court tennis, but you only get one serve, not two, and can hit it off all four walls. Points can last 60 rallies back and forth, and the courts aren't in public parks everywhere. Court costs about $100,000 to put in. And therein lies the challenge with accessibility, plus rackets start at $150 each, a ball costs about five bucks. There's prize money to be had, not a lot, $1,200 for each of the men's and women's winners, and the event goes on all weekend at the Weston Country Club. In Weston, Josh Brogadier, WCVB, News Center 5.